It's super duper awesome! Mia went to get us some paint so we can paint a picture of it. You should see it up close. I hope she gets back before it goes away. I want to paint it just right. Oh! Here comes the bus. Hello, Miss Emily. I wonder what amazing place she's taking people to today. She always picks up her passengers right on time. And brings them back safely. I wish she was bringing Mia back. Our rainbow is going away. Guys, look what I found. It's the happiest flower ever. <laughs> and the rain made it smell extra smelly good. What took you so long, Mia? I had to smell all the flowers, Eddie, so their feelings wouldn't get hurt. Uh, 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 <gasps> My flower, it's gone. Just like the rainbow. Oops. Why do you have to spend so much time sniffing flowers? Now we can't paint the rainbow. <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll just have to paint a flower instead of a rainbow. I could paint a dragon, I guess. <gasps> there. I painted a chocolate cookie. <gasps> you don't have to paint any of that stuff. We can go on an adventure and find them in fairy tale land. She's right. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Digga, digga, do! You are right, Mia. There's a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a cookie. Hi, kids. Crummy weather we're having, huh? <laughs> Crummy. <laughs> Good one. So where's my flower? Are you all going to see the flower today too? Hello there. I'm Perry Peacock. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. What flower? Why, the amazing kazooing orchid, of course. When it blooms, it sounds like an orchestra of kazoos. Awesome! Great. Wow. Let's go! Cool! But it only opens once a day. Once a day? Well, then we don't want to be late. I know someone who takes people to amazing places and is never late. Someone who's never late? Impossible! Perfect! Bus drivers work really hard to be on time. Bus driver Tessa will take us to see the flower. Climb aboard! Let's go! Yay! Yeah! Sit on down, put on a smile. Here we go traveling Tessa style. I'll find him! Hurry up! I always try to be on time. <laughs> Perry Peacock, what are you doing? Jumping on the trampoline! Whee! <laughs> but everyone is waiting for you, Perry to go and see the amazing kazooing orchid. Oh, yes, right. I, uh, I ran back here to give my feathers a quick brush and I saw the trampoline and... You don't want to make us miss the kazooing orchid, do you? 
Come on! Okay! I'll be right there! Woo-hoo-hoo! Wow! <sighs> I spy with my little eye a purple castle. I spy a red heart again. I don't spy Mia and Perry. Where are they? <laughs> Here they come. Yes. <laughs> okay, everyone. Sit on down, put on a smile. Here we go traveling Tessa style. All right. Get that just, just so that we... Uh-uh-uh. Sit down, please, Perry Peacock. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hold things up. <laughs> Bitsy Spider. I spy <laughs> Bo Peep Slam. I spy Humpty Dumpty. And I think he wants a ride. <laughs> oh, these all look so delicious. That one. <laughs> Perry! Coming, 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 coming. Here we go! Almost there, everyone! Yay! Awesome! Guys, quiet! I hear it! The amazing kazooing orchid! Hurry, Tessa! We don't want to miss it! it which looks better? Hat on or off? On or off? On or off? On or off? Whatever you like best. We just want to see the orchid. Oh, dear, I am making everyone wait, aren't I? On it is. <laughs> oh, no. It's over. Rats. It's all Perry's fault we missed the orchid. He took too long jumping on the trampoline and picking apples and trying on his hat. <laughs> And it was kind of like when I took so long smelling the flowers in the backyard, it made everyone miss the special rainbow. Oh, I am so very sorry. The trampoline was just so much fun and those apples looked so delicious. I shouldn't have dawdled. Dawdled? What's dawdled? Well, it's when you waste time and keep others waiting. Oh. So I guess I dawdled when I was bringing back the rainbow paints. I am so very sorry, too. It's, it's okay, okay, Mia. Yeah, it's okay. Well, I can't make the orchid bloom again, but I might be able to help with the rainbow. Oh, I wish I could help. You can. I have just the thing. <laughs> When it's time to go and your friends are waiting Do not dawdle cause it's aggravating Think of how they feel, they don't want to be late Try to be on time, then they won't have to wait Thinking of others is thoughtful and kind If you think of others, then soon you will find That thinking of others will make your heart shine And you and your friends will have one When we're leaving soon and there's no time to lose I will choose my hat and my shirt and my shoes And be dressed and ready, no I will not delay We will all be on time and we'll have a great day Thinking of others is thoughtful and kind If you think of others then soon you will find That thinking of others will make your heart shine And you and your friends will have a Played twice in one day! Hooray! Woohoo! It's never done that before. That was fun! Yay! Woohoo! All aboard the backyard bus! See the
the sights and comfort and fun. I'm on board and ready to go. No more dawdling for me. We're off. All aboard. Let's go. Sit on down, put on a smile. Here we go, traveling Tessa style. Vroom, yes. Vroom. <laughs> Let's go this way. <laughs> Big bombs coming through. Beep, beep. Mighty Mia here at the Backyard Cup Finals, where Steady Eddie is getting ready for his dinosaur dribble. <laughs> today. Boom. Whoa! Oopsie. I hope it wasn't too hard. Sorry, Kobe. Are you okay? I'm okay. And so is my remote control. Wow, what's it for? It's to help us find Lucky if he ever gets lost. <sighs> Kobe! <sighs> Lucky will never get lost. He hardly moves. <sighs> Hey. Come and play ball with me. No, thanks. Aw, oh, come on. It's so much fun. I want to work on my remote control. But you made that awesome net for us. You have to play. Thanks, but I like making stuff more than playing soccer. But everyone likes to play soccer. Not everyone, Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see Lucky play soccer. I'd love to see Lucky do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lucky. Oh. <laughs> hey, we should take Lucky on an adventure. Huh? <laughs> an adventure. He'd love it. <laughs> uh, Tessa, I don't think he would. Everyone loves an adventure, Kobe. But Tessa, and what better place for adventure than the high seas? Let's go! All right. Sounds fun. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together, there's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play, we're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone, in any situation. <laughs> Yo ho ho in a big blue sea, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Ahoy, mateys! I see dolphins! <sighs> Them lucky. Come on, let's tell Captain Sophie. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Here we go. We're off to sea to see what we can see. Captain Sophie, let's race with the dolphins. Turn this ship around and full speed ahead. No thanks, Tessa. I like the speed we're going now. But everyone likes going fast. Not everyone, Tessa. <laughs> I want to turn around and race. But if we turn around, we'll miss that, Tessa. It's the lostest sea monster. Sea, sea monster? monster? Don't worry. She's a friendly monster. Hey, where did she go? I want to meet her. I'm not 
I'm sure I want to meet her. Of course you do. Everyone likes sea monsters. Whoa! But I don't like this rocking! Over. Hello. Are you the lostest monster? What does that mean? Hmm. I think she's trying to say she's not a monster, but she is lost. We should have gone on a land adventure, Lucky. <laughs> Maybe we should have just stayed home. Are you looking for your pod? Hmm. What's a pod, Kobe? A pod is a family of whales. Oh. Would you like us to help you find your pod? Hmm. <laughs> Like she's singing. Scientific fact. Whales sing. That's how they talk to each other. <laughs> Good idea, Lucky. Maybe if we all sing, her family will hear us. And we won't have to find them. They'll find us. Four young friends on a sailing ship. Yo ho ho, and we're having some fun. A whale comes along and we start to tip. Yo ho ho, and we're having some fun. One mate likes to tumble and trip. Another likes to rock and dip. And one, one just glides and slides and slips. I'm not sure about this notion. I don't like this rocking motion. I prefer a calmer ocean. Here you go, Tessa. I made this for you. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Kobe. Adventure's how we like to play. Yo ho ho, many ways to have fun. He does not, and that's okay. Yo ho ho, many ways to have fun. Some may like a ride that thrills. Some at sports have lots of skills. And some like to shape and build. So many ways to have some fun. You like to walk, I like to run. All things aren't for everyone. Yo ho ho, many ways to have fun. Adventure's how we like to play. Better now, Tessa? Yes, thank you. I feel great. But where's Lucky? <gasps> Found him! Colby, your remote control worked! You're so good at making things. Thanks. It's what I like to do. Invented. Welcome back, sports fans. Steady Eddie heads for the ball. He gives it the old banana kick. <gasps> it goes in the air. It bounces off the swing set. The slide. The tree. And go! Yeah! yeah! Nice one, Eddie. Amazing! Yeah, that was awesome. Want me to teach you all how to do it? Hmm. How about if everyone does what they like to do? 
you best. You teach me the trick, Mia can announce. Mighty Mia is on the mic. Sophie can film and Kobe can keep score. Perfect. Great, but what about Lucky? Where did he go? Don't worry, I have just the thing to find the lostest puppy. Turn it on, and here we go. Beep boop, bop, beep, bleep boop. Searching, searching. Beep boop, bop, boop, beep bop, boop, boop. There he is, doing what he likes to do best. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's play. Awesome. All right, let's do it. Coming. <laughs> All right, folks, it's the backyard trick show. Yay! Backyard trick show. Woohoo! I see a blue bird and a cloud that looks like a bird. <gasps> and I love birds, especially blue ones. Oh, and red ones, and brown. Sophie, I was still talking. I see a black dog and some white flowers. I love flowers, too. Sophie, I was... Oh, I see Miss Nancy. Miss Nancy, the teacher? She's amazing. Maybe I'll be a teacher just like her when I grow up. Me, too. Hi, Miss Nancy. She's going to be my teacher one day. She's the greatest. She's so nice, she's really smart, and she knows so much about everything, and... Huh? Tessa? Hello, class. I'm Miss Tessa. Hello, Hello Miss Tessa. Tessa. Today, I'd like you all to tell me what you did yesterday. Oh, 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 me, 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 me. Kobe? Well, I made... Oh. You're playing school? Can I be teacher next? Sophie, I called on Kobe. Kobe? Uh, let's see. Yesterday I made a new... Oh, Kobe, tell them what you found. Sophie, it's Kobe's turn to talk. Okay. So, um, yesterday I made a new... Tell her the other thing, Kobe. Remember what you found? Uh, okay. Um, I found this pink... He found a pink rock. Isn't that cool? <sighs> Miss Tessa? Yes, Eddie? Is it recess yet? Oh, I have this great new game I want to teach you guys at recess. Sophie, you need to wait until I call on you before you talk. Um, okay. Yes, Mia? Can we play something else now? I... But I want a chance to be teacher. Sophie, I'm not done talking. Let's play teacher tag instead. Tessa, you be it. Tessa style. Okay, but you all better start running. <laughs> Here she goes. <laughs> but I really want to play school. I know. I'll have my own school in the jungle where I can be the teacher. Today, we're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Looks like I have some students. Whoa, and the perfect classroom. Time for school! Quack. Quack. Take your seats, please, students. Quack. Seats? Quack. Okay! Quack. Okay! <laughs> Welcome, students. Those are your seats. <laughs> this will be so much fun. So, how many students do I have? Let's see. 
I have one, two... Buckle my shoe! <laughs> <laughs> Settle down. Okay, so I have one, two, three... Ribbit! Excuse me. May I hop in and join your class? <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> yes, you may join us. I'd love to have you. Come and sit quietly, please. <gasps> okay, you can sit up here with me and be my helper. More frogs on a log. Welcome, students. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Moving on. Class, gather round. It's story time. Today's story will be Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Uh, teacher, teacher. Shh, it's my turn to talk now. Remember? Today's story will be Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time... Seeds! Uh, seeds! We want... <laughs> Once upon a time... I think they need to stretch their legs. <laughs> Please remain seated. It is not polite to hop while I am reading. Once upon a time... Oh, oh. Monkey see! Monkey do! <laughs> My name is Jack. Excuse me. Class, I need you all to listen to me. Ugh, this is so frustrating. No one is listening to me. I can't finish what I'm saying before somebody interrupts me and... Ribbit! Do you have something to say? Uh... Okay, I want to hear it, but please wait. I wasn't finished talking yet. <laughs> Never mind. I can't even remember now what I was going to say. What do you want to say? Oh. Oh no. I made you wait so long that you forgot what you were going to say too. Hmm. I wonder. Do you think if I let my students talk some of the time, they wouldn't interrupt me so much? Interribit? Interrupt. Interrupt means to talk before someone else has finished. See? Um. Mm -mm. If you're saying something and someone else talks at the same time, then no one is listening. So sometimes you talk. And sometimes you listen. Get it? Uh huh. I get it. But they don't. Hmm, maybe I can explain it to them. Excuse me! Whoopsie! <laughs> oh, well, you gotta wait for the pause. Wait? Wait, wait, wait for the pause. Wait! You gotta wait and make no sound. Just sit and listen, don't monkey around.
And now you know just what to do. Ribbit. No biggie. Oh, that was wonderful! <laughs> and the next time we play school, we'll all take turns being the talker and being the listener. And there will be a next time, because you guys are the greatest students ever! Thank, Thank you, Miss Sophie! Grab it. <laughs> Sophie, we're having a marching band parade. I'm playing the flute. Do you want to join in? Yeah, there are lots of instruments you can play. See, Eddie has a trumpet. Colby made a tin can drum. And I'll play cymbals. Tessa style. Sophie, do you want to say something? I do, but I want to be sure you're done talking before I start talking. I don't want to interrupt. Aw, Sophie, thank you. But I'm done. I can't wait to play in the concert. But first, I'm going to listen for a while. Until it's just the right time to join in. Okay, come on, guys, let's go! <laughs> Can they catch like me? <laughs> no, but they can do lots of other things. They can fly places and fight fires and help rescue people. Someday I'm going to be a pilot. Come fly with me. I can't fly a helicopter, but I can make this thing fly. Ah! Got it. Here it comes, Mia. Huh. Huh? Uh. Rats. <sighs> Double rats! Whoop, 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 whoop. You can be the pilot, Tessa. I'll be the helicopter. Whoop, 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 whoop. Awesome! Let's try that again, Gobi. <laughs> Heads up, Mia! <laughs> I don't like this game. It's okay, Mia. We'll get it down for you and you can try again. No, thank you. It can just stay up there. Like that princess who gets stuck up in a tower. And speaking of fairy tales... We are? Let's have our own fairy tale adventure. It'll be more fun than this silly old throwing game. Okay. Sure. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our Dragon. Uh, my mom says I am. Sure he's a dragon. 
And someday he's going to fly really high. Like my big brother does. <laughs> or maybe not. Or maybe so. You think? It's okay, LD. Your big brother probably didn't fly so well when he was little either. You just need practice. Come on, we'll help you. can't get off the ground. Aw, that's okay. Neither can I. Flap, 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 flap. <sighs> Me neither. I can. Whee! Ha! <gasps> or not. <laughs> <laughs> None of us can do it yet, but I have just the thing to help. Balloons can be our training wings, like training wheels on a bicycle. Okay. Cool. Let's try it. Sure, let's try it. Oops, sorry. Ah, uh, I better do that for you. <laughs> Awesome idea! <laughs> I'm flying! Come on up, Baldi! I'll try! <laughs> I'm flying! I can do it! I can! <laughs> or not. Nice flying, LD. I hardly got off the ground. Thanks for trying to help me. But I think I'll just walk home. He can't quit. He's going to be a great flying dragon someday. He'll rescue princesses and... <gasps> I know! We're here! Huh? Ta-da! If LD sees a princess in trouble, he'll just have to fly up and rescue her. Yeah! It's his natural instinct. <laughs> I think you mean instinct? Exactly. It's what he was born to do. Help! Help! Oh, I need a brave dragon to rescue me! I'm gonna get you! Oh, no! Uh, oh, oh, hold on, princess! I'll save you! Hold it! fly very high. You're getting better. And you fly a little higher every time you try, LD. But I want to fly really high, like my big brother does. Uh, I give up. Well, maybe he's right. He tried to fly like his brother three whole times, and he couldn't do it. Three times isn't enough. It took me six whole weeks to learn how to peel a banana. And look at me now. If at first you can't unpeel, try, try again. Right, try again. The balloons weren't big enough to be training wings for a dragon, but I know something that is. Wait here! Now where's she going? Whoa, look! When something you are trying isn't working, isn't flying, don't give up.
Peace makes perfect, that's what I have found Before you can earn your crown When something you are trying Is it working? Is it flying? Don't give up, it's satisfying When you just try it again Try, try, try it again Look at you, LD! You're flying! <sighs> Not really! You're holding me up! Yes, really! The cable is gone! It is? <laughs> You're flying all by yourself! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I am! I'm flying! He did it! Woohoo! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Woohoo! You go out deep! Woohoo! <laughs> Aww, that makes my heart sparkle. Rescue the princess from her tower. Uh, uh. Yes! Yay, you did it, Kobe! Anything is possible. If you just keep trying. Maybe I could even learn how to throw this old thing. Can you help me, Eddie? Sure. Show me how you hold it. Hmm. Try turning your wrist. And... Throw! Zinga dig a do! You did it! Huh. Huh. I got it! Yay! Yes! Try it again! Okay! Catch, Lucky! Huh. <laughs> Keep practicing, boy. <laughs> 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 oh, lucky. <sighs> what this place needs is some good laughs. Hey, Kobe. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Moo. <laughs> Get it? The cow interrupts and says, moo. We got it. It's funny. I know. Thanks. Twinkle, twinkle, magic wand. Make this dog sleep on and on. I think it's working. <laughs> Jack, you woke up poor Lucky. <laughs> but it was funny, right? Nope. I'll put a little bit here and maybe over here and... Oh, yeah. This is going to be so funny. A little more yellow. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Just touch up the hair. <laughs> Eddie, don't move, please. Something's tickling me. And a little bit of blue. Oh, right oh. Here. Hey! Oh! a blue mustache. That is funny. No, it's not. You made me mess up my painting. I was just trying to be funny. I thought you guys liked it when I'm funny. We do like it. Sometimes. But right now, everyone is doing other stuff. And your funny stuff is wrecking it. Well, I think my funny stuff is funny. But if you guys don't like it, I'll find something else to do. I'm gonna go on a farm adventure, Jack. Wanna come with me? Okay, that sounds like fun. Me too! I wanna go too! Sure, all four of us can go. Great, and maybe I can finally figure out why the chicken crossed the road. <laughs> get it? I don't get it. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun.
stop and visit, but I'm a little too busy today. You have to move all this hay by yourself? I'm afraid so. My husband Bernie is out working in the field today. I know what will make it easier. A good joke. Uh, or maybe we could just help? Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow who? Moo! Ah! Moo! <laughs> hey, that was my line. <laughs> Settle down, dear. I'm sorry. My little Catherine is still a baby. She doesn't always know how to control herself yet. Whee! <laughs> 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 Oops. Sorry, Mama. Oh, she has so much energy. It makes it hard to get any work done. We'd be happy to help you stack the hay bales. And I could take Catherine outside and keep her busy. Oh, that would be wonderful. Now, where is my cowbell? I need it to call everyone in for lunch soon. <laughs> Me hide it, Mama. <laughs> Catherine, my cowbell is not a toy. Where did you hide it? I forgot it. Sorry, Mama. Don't worry. I'll help her look for it. Moo! Mm. Good luck, and thank you. Okay, Catherine, think. Where did you hide the cowbell? <laughs> Chickens, run, run, run! <laughs> <laughs> chickens, chickens! No, Catherine! <laughs> no funny? They don't really like it when you chase them around. Why don't you feed them some chicken food instead? They would definitely like that. Okay, happy chickens! Happy, 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 happy! happy. <laughs> gentle, Catherine, gentle. Now I do know why the chickens cross the road to get away from Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Piggies, piggies! <laughs> we go see piggies! No, Catherine! Wait! We're looking for the cowbell, remember? <laughs> piggies, funny! <laughs> They're not trying to be funny, Catherine. They're making that noise because they want apples, too. Uh, not being funny? No. It's not nice to tease them. I know. Maybe we can make them because they're happy. Yeah. Happy piggies, happy piggies. Yes, they like it when you do something nice for them. You know what? We should both try to stop and think about how what we do makes others feel. Huh? You gotta stop and think, then think again. What's funny to you may not be funny to them. So stop and think before you do, and don't just think about you, you, you. Be thoughtful of your friends. Friends have feelings. 
feelings too. Have fun, but in the end, make sure that they're having fun with you. You gotta stop and think, then think again. What's funny to you may not be funny to them. So stop and think before you do. And don't just think about you, you, you. Be thoughtful, love your friends. Friends have feelings too. Have fun, but in the end, make sure that they're having fun with you. You gotta stop and think, then think. What's funny to you may not be funny to them. So stop and think before you do. And don't just think about you, you, you. Be thoughtful of your friends. Friends have feelings too. Have fun, but in the end. Make sure that they're having fun with you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Catherine. Oh, Catherine. <sighs> Catherine remembered. Ah, Mama's bell. Oh, <laughs> you remembered where you hid it. Good job, Catherine. I sorry, Mama. Hiding not funny. That's okay, sweetie. And thank you, Jack, for helping my baby. Sometimes I forget to think of others, too. Sorry, guys. We're both going to try to do better. Right, Catherine? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! That was fun! Hey guys, you're just in time for cookies and milk! Yeah! I bet if I snuck up on Mia and yelled, boo, she'd jump in the air and drop her cookie. Uh, Jack, I don't know. But I won't. Because that might be funny to me, but I don't think it would make Mia very happy. Here, Jack! Ah! Oops, sorry. <laughs> now that was funny. <laughs> Green light! Whoosh! Red light! Don't worry, drowsy doggy. Super Eddie is always ready to save you from a great big snake. Huh. 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 Super Eddie wins again. Woo! Yeah! Green light. Red light. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Kobe. You moved. You have to go back to the start. Yeah. Okay. Green light! Red light! Green light! Gotcha! Ah. <laughs> My turn to be the light. Okay. Woohoo! Eddie, come and play with us! Super Eddie is ready to play! Green light! Ah. <laughs> But Super Eddie is always super fast. Using a scooter is cheating. No one said I couldn't use it. It's okay, guys. Let's just do that one over again. Sorry, Sophie. No time for games. I hear a call for help. I don't hear anything. Nope. That's because you don't have super hearing. It's time for a Super Eddie adventure! Who wants to come? I'll go. Me too. Okay, let's go! Yay! <laughs> Have fun, guys. <laughs> We're gonna finish our game. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Let's go! 
Fantastic prizes! I told you someone needed help. <laughs> Super Eddie is here to help you. By winning some of your prizes, that is. Perfect! Anyone else? Oh, 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 me! Me! All righty then. First one to blow up five balloons wins big, big, big! <laughs> wow, he's good at this. Ah. I'll just use my super blowing power. <laughs> Ta da! Whoa! Excellent. Here you go. Wow, that's a big prize. But, Eddie, the monkeys don't have super blowing power. <coughs> Do you think you should have used yours? No one said I couldn't use it. And it helped me win this cool prize. Here, you can have it. I'm gonna go win some more. Yay! I don't know. It doesn't seem fair. You get three chances to knock down one set of bottles and win a small prize. What if I knock them all down in one shot? Then you win a big prize. Now, who wants to play? Just step right up. This will be easy peasy. I'll use my super throwing power. Ah! We have a winner. Yes. I'll go again. Whoa! You win again. Woohoo! Again. Uh, Eddie, you should let the monkey try now. Oh. Uh, okay. After this turn. Yeah! Woo! Awesome! Let's go play something else. Um, I'm gonna stay here, Eddie. I want to watch the monkey play. Oh, okay. I'll stay too. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Great job! Why is everyone cheering? I hit the bottles every time. Well, it's not so easy peasy to do when you don't use superpowers. Oh, yeah. I guess that's true. Be the first to hit the bell and win a prize. Hit it on your first try and win a super duper prize. Watch my super duper smashing power win that super duper prize. Wow, that was super duper. <laughs> yes. I want to try next. All righty then, ring that bell. <sighs> The bell didn't ring. Phew! <laughs> <laughs> I did it! It took you two tries, and you did it, young lady. Good job. Want to trade prizes, Mia? I already have a bunch of them. No, thanks. I won this prize all by myself. 
You could have won a super duper prize if you had used your super princess magic power. I know, but that wouldn't have been fair to the other player. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. I guess I wasn't really playing fair when I used my superpowers. Nope. It's fun to win, but don't you want to know if you could win without using superpowers? Yeah. I'm going to try everything again, Mia. Only this time, I'm going to play fair. Playing is fun when playing is fair and everyone has a chance to try their best. <laughs> Great job. Hey, wait. Aren't you going to take these prizes, young man? No, thanks. I like the one that I earned. You guys can have them. <laughs> <laughs> I want the banana. <laughs> hey, guys. Can we play, too? You can. But no more Super Eddie. Don't worry. I'm done with Super Eddie for today. Regular Eddie will use the power of fairness to put the scooter away. Okay, then. This time, we can all pretend that we're driving real cars. Yeah, that's fair. Because we'll all be driving cars, not just one of us. Let's do <laughs> it! Fun. Yay! I'm a police car. Wee -hoo, wee -hoo, wee -hoo. I'm a race car. Vroom, vroom. I'm an old car. <laughs> nice one, Eddie. <laughs> Green light. Wee -hoo, wee -hoo, vroom, vroom. Oh, look, a frog with the crown. I bet you're really a prince. Ribbit, yep, that's what I am. A frog prince. Ribbit. Pass it! Ugh. Uh, nice shot! Poor, poor Froggy! Uh, Mia! Watch out, Froggy! Some mean witch put a magic spell on you! Mia! Didn't you hear? Hear what? Oh, look! Bet Ella's going to Mrs. Melman's house! I bet she's checking on her kitty! I'm going to be a veterinarian when I grow up. I'll help lots of animals. Say ah! <laughs> Sophie's going to be a great vet someday. But first you'll have to practice with lots of animals. <laughs> huh? <laughs> You're right, Eddie. And there are lots of animals in the jungle. <sighs> That's why I'm going on a jungle adventure. Sounds like fun. I'll come with you. Oh, me too. Me too. Maybe there's a frog there we can turn into a prince. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Thank you. 
everyone. I'm veterinarian Sophie. And I'm her assistant, Mia. And I'm... What am I, Vet Sophie? You're the, um, note-taking, problem-asking, people-greeting-behind-the-desk person. The medical receptionist. Cool! So, why don't you all tell me why you're here to see the vet? <laughs> okay, I see. Uh-huh, I hear you. It's important for a vet to listen carefully to the patient before deciding what's wrong. Then we can make sure each of them gets the right treatment. Ooh, stickers. I can't wait to hand out stickers. Vet Sophie, this is Benji. And here is his chart. Interesting. Thanks, Kobe. So how are you feeling, Benji? Cold. You have a cold? Oh, no! But, but I... Ah, you're going to need lots of tissues and cough drops and soup and a nice warm blanket. That's nice, Mia, but let's listen to everything Benji has to say. Thank you, Vet Sophie. I was going to say I have cold feet. Brr. When did you first notice this? Um, right before I went to bed last night. I see. And do you usually wear something on your feet at bedtime? Oh, yes. I wear nice, warm, fuzzy slippers. But I lost them. Then I have just the right treatment for you. Medical receptionist Kobe, can you please bring in a pair of warm, fuzzy slippers size super duper extra, extra large? Sure. Oh, um, actually, make that two pairs of slippers. I'm on it. Here you go, Vet Sophie. Thanks, Kobe. Oh, <laughs> warm and fuzzy on all four feet. Thank you. I feel so much better now. <laughs> Woohoo! That Sophie, this is Mel. She doesn't know why she keeps bouncing up and down. Uh, like that. So, Mel. Let's take a listen. We don't need to listen. I can tell that Mel has a case of the jumping jitters. We can use a big piece of super sticky tape to stick her tail to the floor so she'll stop bouncing. <laughs> Maybe we should listen a little closer to our patient, Mia. My stethoscope can hear what's going on inside her body. <clears throat> I think you have the hiccups. Hiccups? Don't worry, they don't last long. But sometimes it helps to hold your breath and count to five. Try it with me. <gasps> One, two, three, four. Um, what comes next? <laughs> Pretty sure it's not six or eight. It's five! <sighs> <sighs> Looks like your hiccups are gone. <laughs> Glad we could help. Only Ostrich was here a minute ago. Uh, I think I lost him. I think I found him. Uh, Vet Sophie, we've got a patient who's a little scared. Hmm. Ollie just needs someone to listen to him and calm him down. I'll go see him. Murray Penguin? You'll be next, Murray. Follow me. Just wait right here. Vet Sophie will be back soon. No need to wait for Vet Sophie. I can see what's wrong with you without even asking. You're sad. And I bet I know why. Nobody remembered your birthday. Mia to the rescue! Oh, here you go. Oh. This will help. Here you go. Hold this. Hmm. Perfect. Oops. Sorry, Murray. 
better now, Ollie. We'll give you a ride home as soon as I see the last patient. What in the name of busted balloons happened here? Murray Penguin is sad, so I tried to cheer him up. But I think I made it worse. Why is he sad? I thought I knew, but I didn't really listen, and I don't know. Hi, Murray. Can you tell us why you've got the gloomies? <coughs> hmm, a picture of snow. Like where you come from? <gasps> you ice skate there, right? <laughs> that does look like fun. It's a snowman! Now I know why you're sad. I listened to you, and now I know. You miss your home, right? Good listening, Mia. Now, let's make you feel better. Next stop, Snow Globia. Listening's what you need to do. So you hear your friends and they hear you. You'll never know what you might be missing if you don't stop and give a little listen. Hear that happy penguin sound, cause now you're home all safe and sound. Turns out that's what he was missing. And all we did was give a little listen. Adventure. It was. But I think you guys left something out. Remember the monkey with the hiccups? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Mia. Yep, I was listening. Snack time! I've got cookies. I heard that. Yum. See? Good things happen when you listen. Cookies for you, cookies for you. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> these are delicious. Get ready for Steady Eddie to kick this ball to the sky. Here it comes. Uh. Uh. I got it. Huh. Oh. Great kick, Eddie. Oh, thanks. Now it's Tessa's turn to kick. Hey, where are you going, Eddie? It's Colby's turn to pitch and your turn to catch. No thanks. I just like kicking. That's not fair to us. You have to play all the parts of the game, not just the fun parts. Colby can throw and catch. He's really good at it. <laughs> what do you see, Mr. Papa? Never mind. I'll look myself. Oh, the bus is coming. Emily, the bus driver, is so nice. And she gets to drive the bus. She's always right on time. And she gets to drive the bus. She stops at every single bus stop. And she gets to drive a bus. Maybe we should go on a bus driving adventure together. Great idea, Sophie. I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys! We're going on a bus driving adventure. Want to come? Okay. Sounds like fun. Woohoo! I'm going to drive a bus. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're going to have 
some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. job is to politely wait for the passengers to board. Uh, maybe. But the fun part is driving. That screen shows you all the places you have to stop. <gasps> you better slow down, Eddie. The first stop is coming up now. No one here? OK, let's go. Tortoise Queen! I want to get off here and go say hi. Yeah, me too. <sighs> hi. Hello, Tortoise Queen. Hello. Are you coming? No, thanks. I don't want to say hi. I want to drive. It's super fun. I love super fun. I'll go with you. Cool! We'll come back and pick them up later. Oh, oh. Goodness! He's in a hurry. I suppose that's good. He'll be picking up guests for our party. Party? Every year, we celebrate the day I was crowned Queen of the Jungle. With music, cake, decorations, you're all invited, of course. Though we're not quite ready yet. Would you like some help? I would love some help. Then the perfect party planning people are here. Let's get busy, everyone. Ah! <laughs> Driving through the mud is awesome. <laughs> Okay, right there. Ha. What a wonderful stage. Perfect for the monkey band. Uh, where is the band? They'll be on the bus when it gets back here. <laughs> I think that was a bus stop, Eddie. You should have stopped. Hold on, Mia. This is going to be a big one. For the cake. And if we're going to have cake, we're going to need plates. And forks. And forks and forks and forks. And very special napkins. Yes! How wonderful! Our guests will love this. Missed another 
another stop. Oops, sorry. Can't go back now. Too narrow. Huh. Perfect. Now the party can start the moment the bus arrives. Here it is now. Eddie, where are the guests? <laughs> guests? Yes, they were coming on the bus. And bringing the music and cake and decorations. Uh-oh. I guess I should have stopped at those bus stops, huh, Mia? Yes, Eddie. That's what bus drivers do. Yeah. I guess everyone was counting on me to do every part of the job. Not just the fun driving part. Mm, yeah. Yep. Hmm. Well, I'll just go back and do the route again. And this time, I'll stop at every bus stop. I promise. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Fantastic! We know you like to drive the bus and never want to stop. But once you've picked up all the gas, this party's gonna pop. We're counting on you to do your part, not just the part that's fun. So dig in and help with everything, and think about everyone. So do your best with everything, and do it with a smile. When you decide to start something, then finish it in style. They're counting on me to do my part, not just the part that's fun. So I will help with everything and think about everyone. Ever, hey guys? Yeah! Woohoo! What a great party! So fun! Best party ever! Yay! <laughs> hey, anyone want to play ball now? Sure, let's all play! I'll go outfield and catch! But you don't like to catch. Hey, if you want to play a game, you got to play all the parts, right? Right. That makes it fair for everyone. Awesome! Yay! Let's do it! Oh. Uh, uh, yes! I got it! Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Lucky. Oh. Wow! You know, catching's kind of fun, too. Now it's my turn to pitch to Kobe! Eddie's in the pitch! to share. But it's still too hot. We have to wait until it cools down a little. It's so hard to wait. We could jump rope some more. Or we could play hide and seek instead. Yeah. I'm a bear. Whoa. Run and hide. Oh, no. A bear. One, hide, hide. two, three, four. Mm, that smells so good. Cinnamon? Ten. <gasps> Ready or not, here I come! Roar! Mm. Oatmeal and cinnamon. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> mm. And raisins. Gotcha! Ah! <laughs> and vanilla. What else? <gasps> it's gone! Oh no! I ate it all! Tessa! I see you! 
got me. <laughs> Everyone is gonna be so mad at me. What am I gonna do? <sighs> I have to tell them. Found you! I found everyone! Now it's time to eat the... Oh. Hey! Where's the cookie? Sophie, our cookie! Someone ate it! Who would do that? Um... I bet Lucky did it. No! He would never... Don't worry, everyone. Tessa and I will make another one. Come on, Tessa. <laughs> Now we have to wait again. An adventure would make it easier. Yes, a forest adventure with squirrels and stuff. Let's go! Yay! No. <sighs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be Situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Yay! Woohoo! Um, excuse me. I excuse me. Me and my friends are collecting acorns for the winter. Hey, guys, why don't we help them? Okay. Keep those acorns coming, team. When the meter reaches the top there, it means we've stashed enough acorns to last the winter. <sighs> and not a minute too soon. Winter's on its way. We'd like to help if we can. Sure. I'll go grab some acorns. But we don't have big cheeks to carry them in. See? Ah, I see your point. Uh, use these baskets instead. Great. All right. <laughs> Thank you! It's not right that Lucky got blamed for eating the cookie. I have to tell my friends it was me. But they'll be so mad at me. <laughs> Sheldon? Did all these acorns fall out of that little hole? Mm-hmm. And then you ate them? Oh. Yeah. We have to tell the others. <gasps> no! Please don't tell! Then everyone will know that I've been eating them, and they'll be mad at me. <gasps> I know! You and me can patch the hole up, and no one will know it was ever here. I don't know if we should. Please? Okay. Something's wrong. The meter is going down. That can't be right. Not with all the acorns we're putting in. I've got to fix this before winter comes. 
or we won't know if we've collected enough food. Oh, no. Maybe a rock fell out. We better go see. The acorns are all dropping out. We have to tell the others. Can't we just fix it? Pretty please? With acorns on top? <sighs> okay. We'll try to fix it. But if it doesn't work this time, you have to tell the truth. I've checked every dealy bob and gizmo who, and I can't find anything wrong with the meter. I don't know why it's going down, but I'll keep looking. Hey, you fixed it! It can't be. It's impossible. It can't fill itself. We have to keep working. The squirrels think the tree's filling up by itself. You have to tell the truth, Sheldon, or there won't be enough food for the winter. Mm, I know. I should have told the truth in the first place, but... Oh, everyone is going to be so mad at me. I know what you mean. I ate a big cookie. Let our dog Lucky take the blame. I wish I told the truth in the first place, too. <sighs> Maybe we should both tell the truth now. Together. And so I just want to say that I'm so sorry. Thanks for telling the truth, Sheldon. Next time, uh, maybe do it a little sooner. Okay, team. Back to work. I'm sorry, too, you guys. For what, Kobe? It was me who ate the giant cookie. Not Lucky. What? You? Why didn't you tell us? I thought you wouldn't like me anymore. Well, of course we'd still like you. Friends know that friends make mistakes. Sometimes we do things wrong. We don't mean to, but we do. Mistakes are made by everyone. We're learning just like you. Tell the truth, it's good to do. Don't say things that are not true. Don't be scared, just take a breath. It's not that hard to do. Just tell the truth. Oh. Just tell the truth. Oh. For friends, for you, it's good to do. So tell the truth. If you do something wrong and you feel bad inside, it's best to tell someone. No need to run and hide. I'll tell the truth, it's good to do. I won't say things that are not true. I won't be scared, I'll take a breath. It's not that hard to do. Just tell the truth. Oh. Just tell the truth. Oh. For friends, for you, always be true. And you'll feel better when you do. So tell the truth. Yay, we did it! Awesome! Woohoo! Good job, everyone! The storage tree is filled to the brim. And just in time for winter. Just in time. Wow. Ooh. That was awesome. Digga, digga, do. <laughs> Snack time! A whole new cookie! Yup, and it's big enough for all of us to get a nice big piece. No thanks, Sophie. I've already had more than my share. What do you mean, Kobe? It was me who ate the first cookie, not Lucky. <laughs> I'm really sorry you were blamed for what I did. Do you forgive me, Lucky? <laughs> I'd say that was one big doggy. Yes! yes. <laughs> oh, good boy. Hello. Thank you! Thanks! Sorry, Eddie. No lucky seashell. But I did find this cool rock. Oh. Well, thanks for looking, Jack. Jack! Ah. Look at your hands! Why are you even digging in all that dirt? Jack and Tessa are helping me look for my lucky seashell. Eddie! I think I found it! This is it! Thanks, Tessa. Back where you belong. Eddie always puts his lucky seashell in that pocket. It brings him good luck. Well, I don't think it really brings him luck. It's just... Yes, it does. And I always keep it in this pocket. If you say so. So now can we go on our beach carnival adventure? The 
beach. I like the beach. Except for the sand. It gets in your hair and in your food. But maybe we'll find some more cool rocks and seashells and stuff, Emma. And you don't even have to go in the sand. We can stay at the carnival. That sounds like fun. Great. Let's go. Woo! Bye. Have fun on your adventure. See ya. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Come near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Step right up for a chance to win the best prizes on land or sea. <laughs> you there, you in the pink shoes. How'd you like the chance to win a big pink whale? Oh, that's am amazing. I have to have it. What do I have to do? You start from way down there and win a small prize. Then trade the small prize for a bigger one. Then trade the bigger prize for the best prize of all. It's probably easy to win the small prizes, but it'd take a lot of luck to win this big one. But you're great at games, Emma. You are. Try it, Emma. OK, I'll try. You get three chances to throw a dart at the beach ball. Get just one dart to stick, and you win! Okay, here I go. <laughs> oh, fooey. <clears throat> this is harder than it looks. Keep trying, you'll get it. <sighs> Emma! <gasps> There's a cool place to dig for treasure over there. That, that's great, Jack, but did you have to get so dirty? Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> One more turn, Emma. Oh, right. <gasps> Emma, you won. <laughs> yeah, you won. I won. Wow. I'm going to go try the next game. Good luck, Emma. Emma doesn't need luck, Jack. She just needed a little practice. Step right up to feed the clams. You get five chances to get three bean bags into the shells. By the way, you've got a little something on your nose there. <gasps> Is it dirt? No, don't! Uh, you had dirt on your nose when you won the last game. It might be the thing that brought you good luck. I don't really believe in luck. And I really don't like being dirty. But I really, really want to win that pink whale. So maybe you're right. <clears throat> Silly. I knew the dirt wouldn't bring me luck, Eddie. Wait. You might have to put new dirt on your nose every time. More dirt? <sighs> okay, I'll try. Here I go. It worked. Putting new dirt on my nose worked. Thanks, Eddie. Only now, you've got dirt under your eyes, too. What? No. No, 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 don't. Oh. That's part of the luck now, too. You have to put dirt on your nose and under your eyes. <laughs> Why did it have to be dirt? Okay, I'm ready to throw it. Oh. Uh-oh. Good luck. Yes! Emma! Emma. I got two bean bags in. Only one more in 
and I win. Uh, I think you need to put cotton candy in your hair, too. What? Yuck! No. But that's part uh, of the look now. Gotcha! <gasps> You only missed because Jack sneezed. <laughs> yes! And we have a winner! I did it! I won! Yay! Uh-oh. What is it? <laughs> Step right up to the spinning octopus ring toss. Land one ring on each arm and win the grand prize. I can do this. shell in your pocket? Huh. I guess not. Sometimes I win because I'm a good player, and sometimes I lose because I need more practice. That makes more sense. Practice and believe in you. That is all you have to do. Turn that frown into a grin. You don't need good luck to win. Just keep this trick right up your sleeve. All you need to believe it's practice, practice, practice. That is what you need to do. Practice, 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 and remember we believe in you. When the game is getting hard or you don't draw your lucky card, keep your head up, do your best, and practice will do all the rest. Don't just believe in some small thing. Trust in yourself, you can toss the ring. With that helps you win. It's practice. And you've had lots of practice now. You can't win if you don't try. <sighs> I can do this. <laughs> Up is Mia. 
On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Mia's off to a great start. She's reached the bridge. She's down the slide. She spins three times. And she finishes in five fingers. Great job, Mia. Thank you. My turn. Okay, Eddie. On your mark, get set, go! Go, Eddie, go! Kobe, look out! <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, Kobe. I'm okay. We're playing Jack's Super Adventure Challenge game. Want to play, Kobe? Um... Uh, ooh, we should get everyone to play. Yeah! Come on, you guys. We're all going to play Jack's Adventure Game. Sounds like fun. Okay. Cool. But if we're all playing, we need a bigger place with bigger challenges. The, the jungle. jungle! Let's go! Yay! Woohoo! Uh, okay. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Today's game, I'm your host, Jumping Jack the Adventure Man. First, I'll divide you into teams of two. Team one, always ready Eddie and magnificent Mia. Yeah! Next, team Emma, amazing Emma and Tessa style Tessa. Have fun. Our final team, super duper Sophie. Yes. And can do Kobe. The first adventure challenge is the Outrageous Ostrich Walk. One team member will walk the line, the other will stay on the ground to help. Both will walk like an ostrich. Wow. Awesome. This looks kind of hard, Sophie. What if I can't do it? That's why we're a team, Kobe. We'll do it together. We'll go first. Tessa does this all the time in our gymnastics class. So, I'll walk the line. Huh? But if Tessa knows how to do it, shouldn't she walk the line? I think Emma wants to challenge herself on this challenge. I can do this. Uh, uh. Woohoo! Yeah! Our turn! Okay! Squawk, squawk, squawk! <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, guys! You want to do it, Sophie? Sure. I've never done it before, but I'll try. Uh, oh. Whoa! <gasps> Whoopsie! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hooray! On to the next one! I'm for the silly lily pad frog hop! Here to show us how it's done, is our good friend, Finnegan Frog! Wow, he can really jump! And ribbit, too. In this challenge, one team member will hop from silly pad to silly pad, landing with a... We'll go first! Ribbit! 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 A perfect performance by Eddie! Yeah! Good job! My turn! Ribbit! Ribbit! Ball! <gasps> oh. Come on, Team Emma Tessa! Ribbit! Great teamwork! With Emma's help, Tessa has completed the challenge! Yay! Go, Tessa! Go, Tessa! Yeah, Go, Tessa! Tessa! OK, 
Okay, Kobe, your turn to try it. Me? Oh, my tummy is feeling kind of funny. Oh, dear. It's no fun playing when you have a tummy ache, Kobe. We can finish the game tomorrow if you're not feeling good. No, it's not that bad. I just don't think I should try jumping. Don't worry. Kobe will rip it while his partner Sophie takes the jumps. I can do that. Great, let's do it. Ribbit, huh. Ribbit, huh. Ribbit. Yes! Nice, nice one, one, Sophie. Sophie. Good ribbits, too, Kobe. Oh, uh, thanks. Our last challenge! It's the High Climb and Super Slide Challenge! Cool! Oh, yeah! I love slides! Looks like fun, huh, Kobe? Actually, my tummy does still feel a little funny. It's okay. We'll just watch. Here we go! Hooray! And the players begin the climb! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Tessa's having some trouble. But Ready Eddie is there to steady her. I can't get it. Mia can't quite reach. Wait, she's getting some help now. Tessa style! Thank you! Wow! They're all helping each other. They all made it to the top. Yeah! That was fun. Good job, everyone. You can make it to the top, too, if your tummy was okay. Do you think so? It might take a few tries, but I'm sure you could do it. Come on, let's watch him slide down. Here I come! Yeah! Yeah! Sophie? I think I want to try it. I've never done it before, and I'm really nervous, but I want to try it. Yay, Kobe! It's so much fun. Yeah! Kobe, what about your tummy ache? Well, I think my tummy's just feeling nervous, like it's filling up with butterflies. I get those. Sometimes it even feels like there's birds in there. Does it feel all flip-floppy? Uh-huh. That happens to me sometimes, too, when I'm trying something new. Mine gets all sloshy back and forth, like the ocean. Jumpin' Jack's Super Adventure Challenge makes everyone a little nervous sometimes. That's why we have teams to help each other with our flippy, floppy, sloshy butterfly tummies. I wish I had told you all how I was feeling before. Maybe I could have done the challenges. It's never too late to play this game, Kobe. Huh? We did challenges to get here. Now we do them again to get back home. Uh, Sophie, will you help me? Of course. Okay, here I go. If you are feeling nervous, trying something new, when your tummy's turning upside down, here's what you can do. Just have a friend beside you to catch you when you fall. With a hand to hold and a little help, you can do it all. Yay, Kobe! I got to get to A new thing can be scary if you've not done it before. But once you've gone and tried it, it's not new anymore. Just have a friend beside you to catch you when you fall. With a hand to hold and a little help, you can do it all. Have a friend beside you to catch you when you fall. What an awesome game, Jack. Thanks. I've never hosted an adventure challenge before. 
Maybe someday I'll have my own adventure challenge game show. And Colby can write the music for it. Write the music? That makes my stomach kind of flip floppy. But if you guys will help me, I think I can do it. Hooray! Hooray! Yes! Vroom, vroom! Woohoo! Huh? Oh, sorry. Just doing some spring cleaning up here. No problem! Vroom, 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 vroom! Come on, Lucky. You can do it. Come on! So lucky to stay. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, he's good at that. Vroom, vroom! Shh, I'm pretending I'm a farmer. Uh, by lying on the grass with a book on your face? The book says farmers get up early in the morning. So I'm pretending it's still dark out and I'm waiting for the rooster to crow. <gasps> That's a funny sounding rooster. <gasps> That's not a rooster, Eddie. That's Farmer Jed. Being a farmer must be amazing. Yay! <laughs> they clean the barn, feed the chickens, take care of the sheep, <laughs> ride the tractor, did you say ride the tractor? <gasps> oh, we should go on a farm adventure. And I know exactly how to do everything on a farm. I learned it from this great book. That sounds fun. Can I feed the chickens? Sure. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yippee! Awesome! Yay! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Where's the tractor? Time to farm. To farm. Where are the sheep? Wait, I have to teach you the right way too. Woohoo! Farming's fun. Yeah. Be a farmer. <sighs> Hi, I'm Sophie. How is everyone today? <coughs> I don't know your names, but if it's okay, I'm gonna call you Daisy and you Sunny and you Esmeralda and okay, Sophie. Here's how to feed the chickens. You fill a scoop with chicken food and scatter it so they can peck at it. Easy peasy. Have fun. Okay. A barn has to be clean and organized. Everything put away in just the right spot. Great, we can do that. If the animals in the barn get in the way while you're cleaning, put them in their stalls, okay? Have fun! So you just drive through the fields and the tractor will pick the corn for you in nice, neat, straight lines. Have fun! Okay. <laughs> When it's time to move the sheep to a new field, you just rattle the food in this bucket and they'll follow you anywhere. <laughs> Whoa, that's a great trick. Uh-huh. So let them graze for a little bit longer, then use this trick to move them. Okay, now I'm gonna go pick some apples. Have fun. Hmm. Emma did say have fun. No 
Not ready to pick. Not ripe. Not ripe. Mm. <gasps> ripe! Mmm. It feels so good when everything's done by the book. Huh? Oh, no. You're supposed to be feeding them lunch. I am feeding. Huh? Yeah! <gasps> what is Eddie doing? I am feeding you lunch. I'm just doing it in my own fun way. Awesome! <laughs> Eddie, you're supposed to be collecting corn, not driving in circles. Them. I'm doing both. See, when you showed me that trick with the bucket, I... Oh, Fooey! What now? Kobe, you were supposed to put the animals in the stalls when they got in the way. Why didn't anybody listen to me when I told them what to do? We are doing what you told us, Emma. We're cleaning the barn. And the animals aren't in the way. They're helping. Bernie's helping us lift hay bales into the loft. Show her, Bernie. Ta-da! Everyone's got a job. Thanks, guys. Huh. You're right. This place does look clean and organized. We did do what you asked us to do, Emma. We just did it Tessa and Kobe and cow style. <laughs> oh no, the chickens. Sophie, they never got their lunch. They did get their lunch. It's a nice day. So I used the scoop to fill a bucket with chicken food and we came out here. <laughs> it was fun. Are you sure they got enough to eat? Daisy, did you get enough to eat? None of this is exactly how I asked him to do it. But I guess it's all working out okay. But what about Eddie and the corn? I caught all the corn in the wagon I was pulling, just like you asked me to. See? But I also made a maze for us to play in when we're done. You told me to have fun, so I did. And look! Mia's having fun, too! Yeah, she moved the sheep into a new field. She just did it in her own fun way. Yep. <laughs> if you've got something to get done, a friend can help you through. But the way they like to do it may not be the same as you. So we all do things by the book. But I do them test the stuff. I like to add a Sophie twist. Whatever makes you smile. People do things differently than other people do. The different way we do things is what makes us me and you. If stuff gets done, why not have fun? Being different is OK. It's a scientific fact that we all have our own way. People do things differently than other people do. The different way we do things is what makes us me and you. Me and you. Awesome! <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. You were all really great farmers today. And you got everything done in your own special way. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oop. 
Oops. Uh, we kind of left a mess here. I guess we better clean up. Okay, here's how we should do it. Uh, I mean, how do you guys want to do it? I'll pretend I'm a chicken and pick stuff up from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you mean peck stuff up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't collect the stuff in the wagon like I collected the corn. And I'll lead the way, just like I led the sheep. We'll make it a pickup parade. Well, I've never cleaned up this way before. But it looks like fun.